Hello, staff and students. Hey, I want to talk to you today about saving work uh, from your iPad to your Box Cloud account. Now that we have Box available for staff and students, uh, we have a great place to store um, documents securely uh, within the cloud. So if you haven't checked out our playlist on the YouTube channel on Box, please check that out. It shows you how to get your web access set up as well as the uh, app for your iPad. So once we've done that, I want to walk you through today how we would go about uh, creating documents and saving them to our Box account. So let's just start with some of the Microsoft products because I know a lot of us use those. If you're going to use any of the Microsoft products like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, um, we can easily save those files directly to Box where they um, automatically save. We don't have to worry about moving back and forth between the Microsoft apps and the Box app. Uh, day in and day out. We can just consistently work out of the Microsoft apps and they automatically save the box. So let's show you how that's done. We'll just demo Word today. So we'll tap on Word. The first thing you want to do is go down to where it says open on the left hand side. And where it says other locations we're going to actually add your box account. Now we want to make sure obviously that we've already set up the box app on our iPad and so once you've done that you can go ahead from this location now and tap add a place. And you'll tap where it says box. It's going to want you to grant access. Just tap grant access. You don't actually have to log in. It'll actually log in for you since you're already logged into the box app. Now you see your box online location here on your iPad. So when I want to create a brand new document, uh, whether it's me uh, as a teacher or my students, we can now just tap New. We'll just use a blank document for today. We'll just start typing Hello Staff and Students. Now I want to save this the first time. I'm actually going to tap on the icon in the upper left hand corner. It looks like a piece of paper with three dots. So we'll tap that and then we'll tap Save the first time. And we do this one time when we first create a document. And then it's going to ask us to choose the location. Now you can tap where it says other locations uh, where you see your box account. We'll tap box. Now if you'd like to save your document within one of your already created folders, that's fine. Um, or you can create a folder right from here. Or if you'd like to just leave it as a loose document, let's just name this today. Box Word. We tap save. And your document has been saved to box. If you tap the arrow in the upper left hand corner to back out of your document, it closes that document down. Just to show you that it's saved in our box account, we'll go ahead and open up our box app. We'll let it refresh. And you can see now that I have a document there on the left called Box Word. And I can tap on it just to preview it, and you can see what I'd already written so far. Now, like I said, you don't have to worry about going back and forth between the Box app and your Microsoft products now. Once it's been saved to Box, when I want to go back to work on that document, say the next day, I go back to the Word app. I can either click on the Recent tab or the Open tab. It does not matter which one. If I go to the Open tab, I can make sure I tap on my Box account on the left, find my document called Box Word, tap on that, and I can continue editing my document. Now when I want to save, all I have to do is simply tap the back arrow and it automatically saves it back to my box account. And just to prove that it's done that correctly, we'll go back to our box account. I'll refresh this. I'll tap back on the Word document now. And you can see now all of my edits have uh, been saved. So what an easy way for students to work in the Microsoft apps save it to box the first time and then they can simply just work out of those Microsoft apps from then on and just automatically save their document back to box all the time. Safe, easy to find uh, storage for your Microsoft products within box. Um, if you're an Apple user and you'd like either the keynote numbers and pages, check out our next video in this playlist which shows this similar process for how to save our Apple documents to box the first time and then get easy access to those in box.